Welcome to Group B, France, the reigning European champions are on the threshold of the quarterfinals of Euro 2004. Beat Croatia today and they'll have a place in the last eight of the competition. Croatia looking for an improved performance after a rather dour nil-nil draw against the Swiss. Here is the setting for a Group B game between Croatia and France. French one victory away from becoming the first country at Euro 2004 to qualify for the quarterfinals. And Viltord, absolutely nothing to aim at. How he was going to squeeze a ball between Bottino and the near post it only existed in Viltord's mind. So Zinedine Zidane got up his sleeve here. He scored, that's what he's got up his sleeve. That's his third goal of the championships. It wasn't intended as a shot on goal, but I don't think anybody got a touch. And Zinedine Zidane is a leading goal scorer at Euro 2004 with his third goal in two games. And indeed the uh, director picking out Tudor. Let's see if Rosso can fire Croatia level, he can't. No work there for Fabian Bartes. And a bite. And that four disappointing crosses out of four. Niko Kovac, tackled by Vieira. First shot on goal with any venom comes from Šimić held by Fabian Bartes. Well, the star of the first half has been the star of the game against England. Zinedine Zidane might not have been credited with a goal. Igor Tudor has as an own goal. Flick on is my shocker down. And Kovac emerges with the ball here from Dakor's challenge. Rosso penalty! Rosso's been fouled and Croatia have a chance to go level. Mikel Silvestre, who gave a penalty away against England, has now given one away against Croatia. It was a clumsy challenge on Rosso by Mikel Silvestre, just as it was a clumsy challenge on Wayne Rooney in the last game. It's going to be Rapajic. 1-1! Into noise and Kalal as well, two flares there as well. Everyone gives Milan Rapajic a smacker because he smacked the ball past Fabian Bartes here and we'll level at one apiece. Bartes facing his second penalty of the championships. He's saved from David Beckham but not from Milan Rapajic. As Zinedine Zidane picks out David Trezeguet. That's an awful pass by Trezeguet to Rapajic. Rapajic, Persho onside, still Persho, he scored again! Dada Persho from Monaco, never gave this one up. Cut inside, Sylvester, a mistake by Marcel Desai. What was Desai doing here? Completely missed the ball, presented it back to Persho. And Fabian Bartes never stood a prayer. Zinedine Zidane slid forward to Vieira. Great run by Vieira here. Thierry Henry. We could be watching one of the great stories in European Championship football unfold. Vieira. France just seemed to have wrestled back the initiative, especially in midfield. 
Trezeguet. Henri. Free-flowing French football has just dried up, although that's a poor back pass. And Trezeguet! Would you believe it? Two back passes, one against England, one against Croatia. And France have capitalised again. The crowds are complaining about something here. They've surrounded the referee. Puccini's clearance might have been handled there by Trezeguet. That's my only thought. It struck his hand. And still the protests go on. And there's a break on here at the other end. Shokata. He's tried to catch Bartes out of position. It was an audacious chip. Here's Zidane, there's Henri, flicked in dangerously towards Perez. Trezeguet waits in the middle, oh, it's pushed away by Botina. Almost into the path of Trezeguet, this is Zidane. Sagnol. Perez. Henri. Oh, beaten away by Botina. Fabulous save. It could be a save to earn Croatia a draw. Really important goalkeeping by Bettina, that was an outrageous stop. Mornar calling for the ball. It's a fine pass. Olic. Mornar, lovely turn. Oh, he's missed. Every Croatian player to a man holds his head and slumps to the turf. This, when it left the boot of Mornar, looked like the winner. And for the first time ever, Croatia have taken a point off France. This was a memorable game, littered with controversy. A splendid game from Group B. It ends Croatia 2, France 2.